Hi guys, I'm back now with a short clip on how to set up your EKG so that you can read your own heart rhythm. So you have three leads in your kit. They should be red, yellow, and green. If they're not red, yellow, and green, maybe they have uh, writing on them. And in, in this picture you can see we have RA on the red one, LA on the yellow one, and LL on the green one. In this case, the RA stands for the right arm, the LA stands for the left arm, and the LL stands for the left leg, and maybe yours says RL, and then it would be right leg, but you're not actually going to put it on your leg. It's more of a directional term. So your red one, or the one that's marked RA, that should be placed right under your right clavicle, okay near your right shoulder but within the rib cage frame so just as the picture there depicts you want to place that there all right you want to not be on a bony prominence don't put it up on your collarbone so you're going to have to palpate your chest or feel your chest a little bit but you want it to actually be not on the rib but in between so you don't want it on the clavicle you don't want it on your rib but right there in the middle there that soft area now we we try to get as precise on that as we can but it's not a real precise um, science if you will you can move it a little further out or a little closer in the idea is that you need a good connection so you do not want it on a hairy surface so if you have a very hairy chest you're going to want to try to move out away from the hairy part of your chest um, you want a good flat connection there you can trim your chest hair if that is in your way but hopefully somewhere over in this part you can find a place that you can put that so that's the same on the right and the left so on the left it's near your left clavicle okay and it's your left all right my right your, and uh, my left. That's how I want to place that. Now the lower lead, really you got a lot of playing room there, okay? You want to either, if it says it's an L, if it's two L's, you want to put it on the left side, somewhere down below um, your rib cage, uh, to the lower part of your rib cage, closer this picture shows it looks like it's right on your rib cage, but you can actually go lower than that. That would be just fine. If the kit you have has RL, then you're going to want to put it way down on the right side, towards the right side of your body. Now, sometimes when you when you first place this on, you can expect you're probably going to see a little bit of what we call artifact, and that's where you don't have a nice waveform because you're moving, you're still trying to get adjusted, you might even be laughing a little bit, or your, or your lines are kind of getting uh, shake, shaken a little bit. You want to be still. And so what I was saying was you want to be still when you have your leads on and as you're trying to look at your EKG rhythm. If you're not getting a nice waveform, you might want to just double check, make sure you've got a good placement. Um, you want to make sure it's on a hairless area. You don't want to be right on a bone. Uh, another thing you might want to check is that your skin should be dry. You should be free from um, perspiration. This is not something you want to do after you've been outside running around in the heat. Um, and also, if you're coughing or laughing, you're going to see artifact, you're going to see staticky looking movement on your EKG pattern. What your pattern should look like for the most part, and EKG patterns are different for everybody, um, we all have pretty much the same components if we have normal sinus rhythm, but my first waveform, which is called a P wave, may look a little different than yours, but as long as it is a positive uh, inflection up off of the baseline, then you are having a normal rhythm. But yours may look a little different than mine, but generally speaking, this is how it should look when you see it run across your screen. You should see a wave and then again that um, 
pattern, wave pattern that kind of looks like a lightning bolt. It goes up and down pretty largely. And then another wave behind it. And then a little bit of space. And then a wave. And then the lightning bolt. And then a wave behind it. And a little bit of space. And so on. So this is how you put the leads on and what you should expect to see on your computer. On our next video, we're going to talk about reading what you're seeing and if it's normal and how you know. Stay tuned.